Hi everyone, got what you might call a glut of chilli peppers this season. These are a mixture of sweet and mild uh, chilli peppers. I think the three varieties that we grew this year were Sweet Heat, Cajun Bell and Midas. And there are plenty more where these came from. Um, I would say there must be, I don't know, maybe 50 or 60, maybe even 100 left. Uh, there are so many I couldn't see them. Uh, but these are the last three cucumbers of the season and I think we've got a fem spot and two burpless there and the tally for this year was a hundred and eighteen. Catch you later. <laughs> Well, it's nice when the working day ends and these are the tomatoes that I've just picked. We've got a large punnet of beefsteak tomatoes and a large punnet of cherries as well. And we've got sun gold down at the bottom there, some red zakora, some black cherry, some sun baby and a few green grape on top and the beef steak well they are brandy boys and Japanese black trefoil and a few cars yet just for good measure they're still producing well I'm gonna have a sit down now have two minutes I've just about swept all four plots a little bit left to do but I need to go and uh, pick a few green gauge, so maybe after I've had a minute, I'll do that. Hi again, down in the orchard on the fourth plot now, and we're just looking at the green gauge. This is the variety old green gauge, and there aren't that many varieties uh, from what I can gather, and they're not always uh, very heavy cropping, and this, this is no exception in that regard. I think we've probably had about 25 or 30 and there might be about a dozen left and they're all ready to take the ones that are on but they are so sweet honestly um i've got five varieties down here i've got opal old green gauge uh the czar and then up at the top they still need to be pruned up there uh, i've got four apples and two two plums and the plums are marjorie's seedling and laxton's delicious i think um, they're lovely plums, the Marjorie's seedling. Um, not very sweet, um, but good for cooking. The Laxton's delicious on the other hand, that is a large plum and also sweet. But nothing compared to this. Um, these are to be eaten sparingly, I would say, because uh, your blood sugar level must uh, shoot right up when you've had one of these. They're super sweet. I've pruned the three trees here. And I've still to do the two at the top. No fruit this year on the Marjorie's Seedling and the Laxton's Delicious. Greedy last year, left all the plums on, didn't thin them out. There were tons, buckets of the things. Uh, but this year, no. So uh, I've learnt my lesson, they'll be thinned in future. Well, the lights beginning to fade now as the sun's setting but I can still see well enough to pick a few raspberries not to take home just to eat I shouldn't really be eating them because uh, I had a nice plateful of linguine for tea tonight followed by an apple and raspberry crumble with custard and for second afters I had about a dozen cherry tomatoes a green gauge uh, plum and uh, now I'm going to have several of these lovely raspberries I and mean, they're really nice. Not been picking them as often as we should have been and as a result some of them are going over but there's plenty to go at. Plenty and they taste really nice. The first few that I tried after I came home from holiday were a little bit on the dry side 
but we, we've had a, a shower or two and um, the ones I'm trying now seem to be very nice. Anyway, that's Tuesday drawing to a close. So uh, we have to say bye for now. I'll catch you later in the week. I've got a few more raspberries to eat. <laughs> and we'll see how my stomach is in the morning. I'll catch you later. Morning everyone. It's Monday, Bank Holiday Monday, the 27th of August. August is drawing to a close and at last we've had some rain. Uh, it's rained overnight and rained most of yesterday as well. Not heavy, light, but persistent. And um, the ground is, uh, I wouldn't say it's saturated, but it's had a good soaking. And we needed it because the brassicas have not really had very much in the way of rain. And uh, as you can see there, they're doing okay. We've got some January kings on the right and six rows of Brussels sprouts. The parsnips, remarkably, <coughs> excuse me, we're already starting to bulk up, but uh, the rain's just come at the right time and hopefully it'll help us uh, grow us parsnips on for Christmas. Leeks are doing well too. As you can see, the potatoes have all but died back now over there on the, uh, the far bed. They're all first and second earlies and we need to start and take some of those as well now. We've taken probably about 50%. We did take some of the um, main crop potatoes up and I'll show you those now. The yield was uh, not very good. <laughs> um, just like the farmers, um, we've experienced lower yields this year. I'll show you those now. They're in the, the barn. We're in the barn and we're looking at two 45 litre pots of King Edward potatoes and you can see the two pots are not even full um, and the potatoes resemble first and second earlies rather than uh, main crop baking potatoes. Last year the potatoes were easily twice if not three times as big and these have not been weighed but I would imagine there's probably about 35 pounds in each maybe 30 in this one on the right here 35 pounds in that one so 65 pounds not brilliant really this pot is a little bit better um i mean they're all uh, usable but um as i say the yield is down i would say probably by 40 to 50 percent but they are clean very clean uh, not really much in the way of scab um, or wire worm or cut worm damage so you've got to count your, your blessings I guess and fingers crossed these will keep quite well I'm going to cover them up now with some uh, cardboard to keep the light off them and then they'll get taken home in the next day or two while I'm in the barn I might as well show you the banana shallots that are in here drying off as you can see the yield here was lower than last year as well. If you look at last year's harvest you'll see that I just about covered the top of the pub bench and I would say there's probably only half as much now by weight this year and there are some decent sized ones. <coughs> I mean that's okay but there are a lot of smaller ones. Um, and I'm just feeling they're generally quite hard so I think they're going to dry out okay the necks are drying okay as well so uh, we've had a particularly good uh, harvest of main crop onions this year so we'll have more than enough last year they lasted right through until June or so um, so uh, I don't think there's any need to worry on the, the onion front so they're the banana shallots. I'm going to pick some cherry tomatoes now and uh, because they're overdue really for a pick. Well that's the tomatoes pick for today and I think I'm probably going to keep this update uh, short because it's about to rain again. So I'll just tell you what we've picked. We've got some brandy boy here in front of us, the beef steak here at the bottom corner, some Radiator Charlie's, Mortgage Lifter Tomatoes, a Cherokee Purple, 
and I think we might have a, a red zebra there. Some green and red zebra in this one here on the bottom left and then lots of cherries. The cherries were starting to split so I've uh, pretty much stopped watering the cherries now. Uh, the beef steaks are still ripening and they'll continue to receive a little bit of water but um, it's nil by mouth really now for the tomatoes so that you know they they sweeten up hopefully the uh, cloudy weather will uh, dissipate and we'll get some more sun and we'll get some more nice sweet tomatoes well that's it for today and for this update uh, thank you very much for watching and subscribing and i hope to get, catch you again soon okay take care all the best